Today we are going to talk about the anatomy of a tarantula. Welcome to Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos about tarantulas, scorpions, and other invertebrates and exotic pets, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the notification bell to turn on all notifications. Just to reiterate, I am not a biologist, and I have no scientific background. I'm just a guy that keeps and loves tarantulas and other invertebrates, as well as reptiles, amphibians, pretty much any exotic pet. But my friends over at Arthropods Ambassadors gave me this really cool gift. It is a 4D vision tarantula spider model. At least that's what it says here. And it's STEM certified. And we're gonna put this together and learn all about the different parts of a tarantula. I don't wanna dissect a real tarantula or anything like that, but I thought this would be a good opportunity since I get so many questions from people asking about different names or different parts of tarantulas. Now, if you're not familiar with Arthropod Ambassadors, I will leave a link for them down below in the description. They breed and sell a lot of mantises and isopods as well as other invertebrates. And they do a lot of educational work. So a huge thanks to them for sending this out. And if you're interested in getting one for yourself, I will leave an affiliate link for this product down below in the description as well. Now, it won't cost you anything extra to use that link, but the channel does get a small commission from Amazon if you end up purchasing it. So that definitely helps, and I always appreciate the support. But to start off, what we have is just the body of the tarantula. You know, a lot of holes where stuff is supposed to go, and really the only thing that's featured on the body that isn't listed or broken apart are the spinnerets, which this tarantula looks to be a Brachypelma homori or a Mexican red knee tarantula. They only have two spinnerets, like most tarantulas. Now, I think I've got it laid out correctly, but we'll find out as we put it together. Now, tarantulas have eight legs. Sometimes people get confused because they see the pedipalps and think they have 10 legs, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Right now, let's get these legs attached. Now I'm noticing while putting this together, there's definitely a right and wrong slot for the legs. And each of the little end pieces are slightly different. They got a different little shape. So you know that you're putting it into the right hole. So we got the legs on the body and you can see there are little nerves. They have what they refer to as the nerve cord that's running through some of the legs, which is very cool to see. Again, I'm just going off what is the little booklet says inside of this. I'm not a scientist or biologist. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't base a research paper off of the anatomy that I just Describe in this video. I'm just assuming that they know what they're talking about. So the first thing we're gonna put in here is the brain and the eyes. Now tarantulas don't have a brain like you and I do or other mammals or even reptiles. I mean, you can see that it looks a lot different and the eyes are actually connected directly to the brain. And the eyes are referred to as ocelli, which I think is how you pronounce that. But it looks like you just pop these in here in the top. All right, so we got the eyes set in here. And then on top of the brain, we have, uh, these are actually connected together, but you can separate them. But it's the arteries and the midgut branches and the sucking stomach. So you can see the sucking stomach and the midgut branches, which are like the reddish orange color. And then the arteries are the greenish piece. The sucking stomach, we'll just put in right through the eyes and attach it right on top of the brain. Next, we're gonna do the chelicerate, kind of like the fang, something that most people are familiar with. And they're hollow and connected to the venom gland, which you can see this purple venom gland here that goes down into the fang. All right, fangs are installed, let's see what's next. So it looks like the next piece is the silk glands, which there are two of them, they go on either side. So we'll just pop those in there. All right, so those are in. And the next piece we have is the sperm receptacle and ovaries. So obviously this is a female that we're uh, assembling. <laughs> Right, so we got that popped in there. Now on top of that is the intestine. 
which has the gastric seca, CESA, C-E-C-A, and the stercoral pocket. And then the last piece to put in there is essentially the circulatory system. This is the, the book lungs and the heart. The book lungs you can definitely see here. The heart is kind of in the middle of this green part. All right, so we got all of that together. And then they have these cool little uh, see-through domes you can put on there. So that way, like, the insides don't come spilling out. Right, so now we have a completely assembled tarantula. And there we go, we have it all together. So we've got the chelicerae, or the fangs, with the venom gland. We've got the pedipalps. We've got the four legs on each side. The carapace, the abdomen, and then back here, the spinnerets. And then to just kind of break it down further, this part of the leg would be the femur, the patella, the tibta, the metatarsus, the tarsus, then they don't really show, but at the end is the tarsus claw. And on the underside, this would be the stimum, the cephalophorax, the section where the legs kind of come from is the coxa, then the book lungs, the epigenum, looks like right here would be the epigastric furrow, and then the crebellum. So if you want to learn more about spider anatomy, this is definitely a pretty cool thing to pick up for yourself or your kids or your grandkids. Or if you're one of the people out there that just love tarantulas, but for whatever reason you can't keep one on your own, I, I would definitely suggest getting one of these. It was, it was fun to put together. I hope you enjoyed watching me put it together, though I'm sure it'll be a lot more fun doing it yourself. And this is a massive tarantula. I don't, there's no tarantula I think that gets this large, but it definitely makes for a cool little display piece as well as an educational tool. Again, if you, if you like this, you want to get one for yourself, I will leave an affiliate link for it down below in the description. Now, as always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for buying Tarantula Collective merchandise, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>